Hello folks and welcome. Been a while since I've done some videos. I've had to take care of some uh, some uh, family health issues. Um, I posted some information in my um, about section and uh, you can read about that. In either case, the video for today has to do with system information. Now I've talked about these subjects before and I'm going to also start with um, showing you something that is coming up with the next version of the Cinnamon desktop for Mint. And um, in there, there is um, a revamp of some tools. Um, I'm not going to stop there though. I'm going to sh show you current ways of getting system information right now. Also, um, the um, terminal box can be used also for many things. Um, most of these tools are already installed. All you got to do is type. And then I'll talk about one you can install from the software manager. So uh, welcome folks. I am not filming in 4K, but my screen is in 4K. I'm filming in 1080. The subscription logo should be in the corner if you like to subscribe. I have many, many videos. Now, we're gonna first start with uh, visiting Linux Mint's website. And um, if you have not been there, in here um, is a blog. And that uh, usually is produced by Clem. And uh, you can see that right there. Anyways, um, about up and coming stuff. Now the up and coming stuff has a lot to do with this screen right here, system information. And you can see there's some new tabs in here. All right, so I'll just let you read that for what it's worth, if you're curious. Now I'm gonna show you current ways of doing this. We're gonna start with uh, opening up our Mint menu. And I'm gonna type in just uh, SYS for system information. Now, I also have another piece of software installed, which I'll talk about a little bit later, which is called System Profiler, but it has a different name if you're looking for it. We're gonna start with System Reports. Now, the System Reports normally comes up with the uh, check mark, which if you have any problems detected, maybe you need to address those, but the system information part is right here. So generally what you're looking at here, and again, I'm filming in 1080 if you need to adjust your, your screen level depending on the, the device you're looking at. Um, some people like to watch videos on these small iPhones or Android phones. My suggestion is something bigger, like a computer monitor. Uh, some people watch my videos even on, on the um, smart TVs using the YouTube app. In either case, we can see the kernel, what uh, version of Cinnamon, and what the name of this one is. I'm also can I, I'm going to point out to the fact that you can also find out what the MOBO is. What does that stand for? Motherboard. So if you're in the um, market of looking for extra RAM for your tower computers, for instance, possibly laptops, your model number should be listed right here. The CPU is also listed here and the speeds and the graphics card. You can see that I have an AMD Radon on this machine. I have many computers um, and all kinds of wealth of information. Okay, all the way down to drives. Now I have several in this machine and it adds up in, in, uh, in a terabyte format, but more importantly, it tells me what kind of drives they are. And some of these are actually identified by names. All right, you can actually look at your swap space, USB, and all the way down to your repos, where the software comes from. And then a summary, like uh, how much RAM you have, and etc. So that's system reports. If you want something basic, right click on your panel bar and go to system uh, settings, or you can find it in the Mint menu, and then look for the um, icon that says system information. That will give you a short summary. OS is 22.2, Cinnamon, Cinnamon version, Linux kernel, processor, total memory, total number of drives all added up together for storage graphics card. And of course you can copy that to your clipboard. All right, so in addition to, we can type in SYS again, we have system monitor. That's also built in to Mint. And again, depending on your screen resolution, you may want to enlarge these and take a peek at these. 
we can start with the resources. You can see that my CPU is, is more than one core. I also have the memory, the network, and the disk stuff. And there'll be a cute little graphs to go with it. Your file system is right here. Represents that in uh, cute little graphics there. And now we're going to move to terminal. If your terminal is not sitting on your panel bar, then open up your Mint menu and just type in T. You should be able to find it. There is a keyboard equivalent also, but I'm just going to click on this. All right, so uh, Hank is a made up name user. I like to make up different names when I do videos just to have a little fun. But what I'm doing here now, I'm using the control shift and my plus keys to make the box bigger. And you can do the same. Now, I have lots of commands that I can actually show you. And uh, one of the nice commands that I like to use is this one right here. INXI should be installed with Linux Mint Cinnamon. On some systems, I have to install them as far as Linux is concerned. But I believe it's already installed. If not, you can certainly install it in a couple seconds. I like to use this option or switch. What that does is it'll give me everything that I need to know about my system, but strips out personal information. And we can start at the bottom. This is essentially the same information that I showed you earlier when I was trying to show you system reports. It's just in terminal format. The only thing I don't have here is the repos, but I have everything else, local drives, and starting at the top is the system information, kernel, what version of Cinnamon? What version is this called? And what's the pet name of this distribution? Or should I say the distro? It's Sara. And then it's based off of Ubuntu 2404 Noble. It even tells me if you know what the GCC is, uh, even tells me that version. And then again, I can also copy this right here and then open up a web browser and find that model number online for my motherboard. There's the CPU, the graphics card, and um, more importantly, there's all kinds of wealth of information here. All right, I'm going to hit Control C. That just kind of stops everything. And I'm going to type up clear. If you want to use another switch up INXI just for graphics, use the uppercase G as in, well, Gumby. And that will just give you graphics only instead of the other command that I just showed with everything pretty much everything. I'm going to hit the upper arrow key to repeat that command and then I'm going to put in a small c. There's your CPU information. So there's many many switches as they say or options using INXI. Now I'm going to punch up clear. You've heard of this command I'm sure if you've learned a little bit about terminal ls is just list contents or in uh, some people used to call it dir in, in Windows. But basically, the stuff in blue are folders. However, we can also do some magic with this ls command. I'm going to just put in ls and then USB right behind it. And those are my USB buses. OK, so basically, my Logitech microphone that I'm speaking to you on is right there. The bolt receiver, because my keyboard and mouse are also Logitech products, they're using a bolt receiver. I'm just showing you some of the stuff you can utilize for system information. It doesn't stop there with LS. So LS PCI, this is a little bit complex, but this is the PCI bus. And you'll normally have to scroll to the top to start the beginning of this. Maybe too much information for some. And then I have maybe one more to throw at you, which is LS CPU. Or did I do that one already? Either case, I will scroll to the top and um, find it where it starts. So um, basically, it's an AMD Ryzen 7 8 core processor. And you can see all the other goodies that are behind it. OK, uh, enough about terminal, maybe. So I'm going to do an exit command. Let's talk about something you can install using the software manager. Now, system information um, 
you can get all kinds of tools in here but this particular tool is called system profiler so let's look for that and you can see that I come up with nothing that's because it's called a different name all right so it's actually called hard info you can just type it in as one word and you can see mine is installed yours will not be unless you've already installed it okay it is graphical it's not something that comes in terminal and more importantly I'm gonna open it for you I just made a shortcut of it over here to my favorites and then I'm going to enlarge it now based on your screen resolution these icons may be a different size but starting with computer if you can read that um, we're gonna talk about hard info hard info is available for just about most Linux distributions in their repositories all right obviously Linux Mint 22.2 here's my CPU now the RAM is in KIB format so you can break that down using math if you like it's 32 gigabytes there's the motherboard information here's the graphics card my storage devices I have a printer that is self-discovered and you'll find that Mint is very good about using those kind of well driverless printers it'll find them in either case there is a litany or a host of stuff that you can get information on so again this is called hard info Hopefully you have enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.